All right, y'all. Let's try a minimizing problem. All right. So, yes, I am using the geometric method. And I'm trying to do 6.20, which says a professor gives two types of quizzes, objective and recall. Okay? Oh, that's not the right one. Quiz. Quizzes. Uh, whatever. Objective quizzes, recall quizzes. Okay. He's planning to give at least 15 quizzes this quarter. So the number of quizzes will be bigger than 15. Quizzes is two Z's. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. You looked at it like it was wrong. I knew it was wrong. I just couldn't remember how to fix it. It was like, it's not two S's. Like, that'd just be weird. Yes. <laughs> All right. So the student prep time for an objective quiz is 15 minutes. And for a recall quiz is 30 minutes. That's student prep. Professor would like a student to spend at least five hours preparing for the quizzes. Five hours? Bwah, what a <laughs> jerk. <laughs> 300 minutes total, right? Okay. Then the average score on an objective quiz is seven. And on a recall quiz is five. Out of 15? I don't know. Jeez. And the professor would like the students to score at least 85 points on all quizzes. So this is like points, right, that we're talking about? He's hoping for points to be bigger than 85. And it takes the professor one minute to grade objective quizzes. And... 1.5 minutes to grade a recall quiz. Well, that's an annoying number. Okay. How many of each type should he give in order to minimize his grading time? Okay, so this is what I want to minimize, right? I want to minimize grading time. I've got, ooh, what are these guys? What are these three? Restrictions. Yeah, those are restrictions, right? So the way I do this is I need to write equations out of this junk, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need a couple of variables. Uh, o and R would probably be reasonable choices, except that O is a terrible choice. It's, it's like it looks like zero. Yeah, because it looks like it's zero, and I already have enough friggin' trouble with my handwriting. So I'm going to say let the number of objective quizzes be B because I went past O to the next letter. And the number of recall quizzes be R, right? You guys all good with that? Okay, so what's the equation that I'm trying to minimize? What's the grading time equation? Grading, right? Equals. Equals. So how much time is he going to... 1B, just B. 1B, right? So B plus... 3 halves R. Good, cool. So that's the thing I'm trying to minimize. Right? That's like my kind of playing the role of my profit, usually, right? Except I want to minimize instead of maximize. And then what else? What are my restrictions? The quizzes. Okay, so there's 15 quizzes at least, right? So how do I write that one? Uh, 15 is less than or equal to uh, 15B, no. Close. B plus R. Yeah, 15 smaller than B plus R. Right? The total number of quizzes is going to be the objective quizzes plus the number of recall quizzes. Right? So 15 has got to be smaller than B plus R. How about the prep time? 300 has to be smaller than, close. 15. 15B plus 30R. 
thirty are. Where the fifteen come from? Um, yeah, that's fifteen minutes to prep for an objective quiz, right? Wait, where did where did they get five hours from the three hundred minutes? That's how long. They told me that in the problem. They said, yeah, so what they said was, the professor would like a student to spend at least five hours preparing for these quizzes. Like, each one they spent No, 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 total. Oh, I was like, it's a quiz. Like, you guys maybe don't know this, but we actually have, uh, when we do a lecture style class like this, we have to show some justification that we've orchestrated that class so that you should spend about two hours outside of class for every hour in class doing your homework. There's a rule. It's I think that's a, hard, that's a hard thing to gauge. It is super hard to gauge, like, but we have to spend at least some justification on it. And it does get checked by the state. So I feel like, like Apparently not some people don't take as long to study as other Yeah, and it's only supposed to be an average, right? right yeah. But that is a consideration that we make sometimes. Um, how about the points thing? All right, and then what about this one? Grading? Oh yeah, that was my thing I was trying to optimize, right? Okay, so I'm gonna copy that down here, and I'm gonna put the grading thing at the top, right? Because that's my objective. I wanna make that as little as I can. So my next step is gonna to be to dump all of my words and trade words for Okay, so I traded words for equations, and now I want to trade equations for matrices. Yeah, either matrices or a picture, right? Yeah. Can't draw so matrices. I'm going to get this into a picture. <laughs> okay, so what I'm trying to draw here is I'm going to try to draw the feasible region, right? And then what's the deal with the feasible region? Where's the max or min on a feasible region? The yeah, it's going to be at one of the corners, right? So I just need to figure out which corner it's going to be at. So first I need to find the corners, and then I'm going to ask each corner how they're doing, basically. So 15 smaller than B plus R, I'm going to think about that as... Fifteen equals B plus R. So that's all. What kind of thing? An equation whose graph is a line, right? That's a line in standard form. So I'm going to throw on here B this way, R that way. So it's just like a line going. Okay, yeah, we could do it that way, right? We could solve for R, or we could find the intercepts. I'm just going to do this the easy way. I'm going to find the intercepts. So the, where are the two intercepts? 0, 15, 15, 0. Perfect. 0, 15, and 15, 0. So out here someplace, we'll do 5, 10, 15, dot. 5, 10, 15, dot. That's my red line. Good, good. Okay, next thing. Why don't we graph the top equation first? Oh, good question. That's the min, right? Yeah, I want to minimize this thing. How many variables are in this top equation? So, oh, in order to graph that, I need a, I need another one of these. Fourth dimension. Well, at least a third, right? Yeah. So, uh, I can teach you how to graph these, but I'm not going to teach it in this class. I appreciate it. So, um, this thing basically is just too complicated for me to graph today. So, I went to the thing that was a little less complicated. And I'm going to graph that instead. So here, this guy, I'm going to divide that whole thing by 10. No, I'm not. Never mind. Forget it. Sorry, I said that. 
ignore me. So I'm going to think about that as 300 equals 15b plus 30r. You can take 15 each. Yeah, we can divide the whole thing by 15. That's probably a better idea. So 30 divided by 15 is? 20. 20. 20. 20. So that would be 20 is b plus 2r. Oh, yeah, you could solve for R, or you could do intercept-wise, right? So if R is 0, B is 20. Yep. So R is 0 means I'm on this axis, and I need to go up 20. So there's one dot. And the other one, when B is 0, R is 10. Dot. So that's yeah. R is 10, B is 20 are my intercepts. Yeah. Okay, next. What else you got? Mm, the last one. Yeah, the last one, which seems sad, right? So on this last one, I'm going to think 85 is 7B plus 5R. And I'm going to think, okay, when B is 0, something like that, it's 85 split 5 ways, 17, so R is 17, so right here. What did you divide it by? 85 divided by what? 85 divided by 5. Right, that's when b is 0, right? I have 85 equals 5r. So I divide both sides by 5 and I get r is 17. So b is going to be like 12 point Yeah, so then when I set r equals 0, right? I'm going to get 85 is 7b. So it's 85 divided by 7. I'm going to go with 85 over 7. Okay. And you said it's like 12 and a half, give or take? Yeah, it's 12.1. So what am I, why do I want to know? Because I want to put it on this picture, right? You guys see that? So 12 point something up here is all with that. Okay. Thing like this. Very confused on how this is a on the R be above the 15? Oh, that was 15. Yes, it should be. Thank you. Wait, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I dorked up because I went to 10 and then went two more. So if I wasn't an idiot, I would have labeled these. And 17 would be up here. Mm -hmm. Your other one went like 12 something? Yeah, and then the other one is... 5, 10, yep, that's like 12 something. So I did that one, right? Just the other one wrong. So then we go like this. Okay, and now you're all wondering where the heck is the feasible region? Yeah. Uh, I think your graph's too small. <laughs> what do you mean? That looks great. Come on. No, but I'm just saying, like, you need higher numbers than you can probably easier to see. Yeah, you can kind of zoom in on this. It's uh, going to be up. Oh, yeah, it's up. Why is it up? Minimization. Yeah, because I'm minimizing, and because all the inequalities are phrased as it's got to be 15 is under B plus R. So I drew B plus R is 15, right? So then that's under means I'm looking this way. So my feasible region is all that stuff. Alright, so you would take the two front points and the one behind you. Is yeah, what points are you supposed to Yeah, so the corners of that thing are here's a corner, um, here's a corner, 
here's a corner, and here's a corner. Wow. Okay, and then what do you do with Okay, so we need to find coordinates for my corners. So where's this one purple corner? Uh, 20, or 0, comma. That's it, 20, comma, 0. Yeah. Where's this funny corner? And like 13, 5. <sighs> okay, that's where the purple and the, sorry, the red and the purple hit, right? Wait, but those two corners, corners that are on the line, they can't, this doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? Because you can only give 15 quizzes. Yeah. And that's I think it's quizzes. supposed to be 10, 5. No. This guy, oh, you're this point here? No, the 20, 0, those, and the 7, or oh, yeah. 0, 17, you can't have those because you can only have 15. No, no, no. I can, I can give at least 15 quizzes. You can definitely go above 15. Oh, really? Right, you can go above, but you can't go below. Oh. It's a minimized problem, so your region comes down from above. So these are all the lower bounds you have listed out, not the uppers. Uh, you guys all see that? So, yeah, so this is the... This point here corresponds to students spending the minimum study time. Yeah. And they're spending it all on those first objective quizzes, right? Yeah. This guy up here corresponds to the black equation, which was the points. Yeah. So this is everybody gets the minimum number of points, mm -hmm. right? This one in here would be they spend the minimum number of, or the minimum amount of study time, and also we have the minimum amount of quizzes. Study times purple and quizzes, number of quizzes is red. You guys all see that? Okay, so I need to find this intersection. How do I find this intersection? Yeah, you can plot the two lines on a calculator and use the little arrow keys to find, or use the calculate function. Or you can take these two equations. Right, so I've got 15 is B plus R. That's my red, and 20 is B plus 2R. That's my purple. I noticed they both have a B in them, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to subtract the one with 20 in it from the one with 15 in it. And I get 15 minus 20 is negative 5, is B minus B is yeah. 0, and R minus 2R is negative plus. 1 negative R. So you get R is 5, right? And then what's B? Uh, 15. Yeah, plug it into either one. 10. Perfect. Oops. Is Did I do one? that right? Is it 5, 10? I think so. Maybe. No. Dude, look at where that thing's sitting and tell me it's 5, 10. I don't know. It's 10, 5. Yeah, because... X is B's, right? And I found R. That makes sense. R. Yeah. Right, I found the height when I solved that. And then where did you get the 10 from? And I got the 10 because it's sitting on the red line, and the red line is where B plus R is 15. Oh, okay, okay. I said, okay, so 15 is okay. B plus 5, so B has to be 10. Okay? Uh, let's see, this one was also, that one should also have been an easy one. Where's that guy? That top corner. It's where B equals zero. Yeah, it's where B is zero and... Point. It was, it was the 85 or... No. 85 or 7? No, that wasn't it. Where B equals zero, R equals 17. 17. It's where R was 17. Okay. All right. So it would have helped if I had labeled those, right, as I was going along. Probably. Okay, so how about this other one? Um, Last one. That's where the which two meet? Red and the black. Red and the black. Okay, so that's these two. Uh -huh. So would you just subtract it again? Yeah, we could do subtracting again. Let's practice that because we're here. Can we just start with uh, subtracting the red and the black? And Sorry, say again? Never mind. Okay, so I'm going to take my red equation, I'm going to multiply by negative 5. The whole thing. Just so you can get the R? 
Yeah, so I can get the R's to drop off, right? So 15 times 5 is 75. Right, an hour and 15 minutes. So negative 75 is other side. What do you get when you multiply by negative 5? Minus 5B, minus 5R. Add. I think I got 10 is 2B. Five. <laughs> Don't to not be me. So B is five. And then it's sitting on the red line again, right? So that's again the minimum number of quizzes. So if we get five objective quizzes, there are how many? Ten. Yeah, there are ten recall quizzes. So that's the point five comma ten. Okay, so all we, we, see we this? Have to label those on, on the quiz or just the one that we like the test if you, if you have a scrap one. Oh, I'd like, I'd like the corners that you're going to use labeled. You don't have to figure out where this one is. Is that what you're asking? So we have to calculate all those? Yeah, I want to see all of these because you need them all. Is your what's your next thing you're going to do? Figure out which one. Yeah, one of these minimizes the grading time, right? Here, plug one of those into the, the original problem. equation, the G equals B plus 3 Yep. I'm going to plug one of those into my original thing I was supposed to be minimizing. So all of them. So G at zero objective and 15 recall, right, is going to be zero objective. So that's going to be three halves times 17. You guys with me on that? Okay, and then G at 5 and 10 is going to be uh, 5 plus 3 halves times 10, which is yeah, 15 or something. And then we're going to do G at 10 and 5 is 10 plus 3 halves and 5. And then we're going to do G at 20 and 0. And we're going to get 20. OK, so if I approximate these, anybody want to give me numbers here? No, the third one's 27. The first one's in the 30s. It's like 32 or something. OK. Like that. that one's 15, right? We decided that one earlier. That one's 32.5. No, 32. no, it's not. It's 20. The top okay. one's this one is. I'm trusting you. The bottom is 17.5. I think I'm right. And this one's 17.5. So we're looking for the least amount of grading. Yep. So it'd be the. Yep. So in order to amp, like, now I'm, okay, so that's my minimum, right? So you could check this, right, against all your equations, right? And that point there is going to be the minimum number of quizzes, right? It's on the red line. It's going to be the minimum, oh, I forgot what purple was now. What was purple? Was it prep time? Um, study time? Or scores? Yeah, I think that was study time. So it's going to meet the minimum number of quizzes and the minimum student prep time. And it's going to be above the 85 points. You guys see that? Because the 85 points was the black line. So how do we answer this as a question? What do we say? For the minimum amount of work, uh, Should he? Um, should, he. Should, he. should he should um prep for ten I forget which line. 
<laughs> okay, so it was B was in X land, right? Yeah. G should give. 10 objective quizzes. Yeah, and then five. And five recall, recall quizzes. Beautiful. Cool. Doesn't have to be a good sentence, just has to be some sentence. You guys good with this? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please be aware in the minimizing problems. There's no guarantee that you actually have a minimum. Because you have this whole unbounded infinite possibilities here, right? Your region goes off forever. So it might be that the answer is you should go that way. Right? So these aren't quite as chill as the ones where they're all bound up in a box. I'm not going to give you one of those. Just be aware that they exist. Right. It is possible that there might not be a right solution for this. Could we do this in a matrices? Yes, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Okay, thank you. Cool. Questions? Thanks?